Hello and welcome. My name is Brenda, if you're new here. Today is Friday, May 21st, and this past week, not really much has been going on. Um, my husband and I finally did finish putting the concrete down in our carport, so we're glad to have that over with. <laughs> um, it didn't turn out perfect since we are not experts in that, but it serves its purpose in keeping the dirt out of there. So I'm glad that is done and we can move on to other things that we need to do. Um, I ended up riding the bus again this week and I did not cross stitch like I was saying, um, but I didn't end up bringing my crochet. So I was on the phone and went down the rabbit hole as you do and was looking at dyeing fabrics and how to do that and all of that. So some of what I'm going to show today has to do with that. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to get into what I've stitched on. I did, oh, well, let me show you what the stitching shelf looks like. Um, this is what it will look like when it's done. And then where I was at last week and all that. So I got 1,190 stitches in this week. So I'm moving down on the, the door. There's a lot of uh, reds and uh, I thought it was gonna be a more of a brown door. I couldn't remember the picture, but I think it turns a little bit more like that further down, um, but it's looking good. Uh, let me take a little look at it. Uh, I <laughs> I don't know if anyone's really noticed, but all throughout where I've been stitching, there's been, I think it's 550, the color that I'm missing. So there's a lot of little missing spots throughout. So I'm hoping that where I just ordered from, it will come and then I can fill in the tons of little missing spots. Um, but yeah, it's looking good besides that, the part that is missing. <laughs> um, so that is that. And the other one that I've been working on is the Mickey Halloween Castle. And I got 1,000, 181 stitches in on that one. And I'll put like how many stitches there are on the screen in each of those. So I, I'll show you here. I was gonna show a picture, but I have it right here. That's how far I've gotten. going well. Here's the back in case you're interested in what that's looking like. You can tell I was doing, that's when I was going to do it on the bus, so I pre-did half little tent stitches and then went back, so that's why it looks different than it does below that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I still have a bit of uh, black to go on here before I can move on to any color. So that's the stitching that I did this week. Um, I did last week talk about, um, well, I guess I'll get to that after in case no one is interested. I, like I said in the beginning of the video, I went down the rabbit hole of looking at videos about dyeing your fabric because when I was looking at fabrics, there's so much beautiful stuff out there, but I don't, I can't really afford to buy all of the fabric that I would want to have. So I was thinking I would try my hand at dyeing my own and they make it look like it's easy. Probably not as easy <laughs> to make it look as pretty as some, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, I spent like $23 or so on some dye from Joann's. They were having a sale 
uh, I think it was 20% 20, 20 off of dye. And then used a coupon on top of that for, I think it was 20. You can kind of see some of what I got here. Um, I'll take a picture and show you all of the things that I got. But here's a little sampling of some of the liquid dye that I got. And I got this gray. There was a few colors I picked specifically knowing what I wanted to try to make. I saw that, what is it? Uh, FQ Stitch, is that who it is? Is going to have a, a little sow. Um, and it's got little, I think it's bats and ghosts. I'm not sure, but I was wanting to do that one. And I wanted to do it on a gray fabric. So I'm gonna try try my hand at that. And then I also got some of the powder dyes from seeing people do ice, ice dyeing. And so these are just some of the colors that I got for that. I was thinking of a green fabric for um, that pattern a few weeks ago that I got for free on Owl Forest Embroidery. So the Wizard of Oz one, so I was going to try maybe making a, a light green back with maybe greens and yellows. I don't know. I'm just going to play around and have fun and see. So that is the dye that I got. And so knowing that I'm going to do that, I needed containers and things like that to put them in. So you're not supposed to use anything that you're going to eat out of, so... I went to the thrift store and I didn't really find what I wanted as far as containers. But one video I saw, she liked to spoon stuff out, so I just got this. I thought it was a nice little spoon to spoon the dye over if you wanted to in certain spots. And then I just got this in case I wanted to measure stuff out. I'm kind of an exact person, um, so I probably won't just estimate. I like to know exactly what I'm doing. So I got those two and then I went to the Dollar Tree and got a couple I got these gloves and I got a couple of these. I was looking for like a cylinder cylindrical type of container that maybe would have been about that big but I didn't see anything so I got this thinking I could put, put maybe two pieces of fabric next to each other so we'll see I think it was a uh, stitching with the housewives that they used like a like a casserole type of dish like a big baking dish and they put multiple pieces of fabric next to each other um, but I figured I would just try something like this first so I think I have everything that I need to give it a whirl well I wanted a like a cooling rack for the ice dye you you put the fabric on and then it drips down after it's it's sitting on the cooling rack and then drips down so I didn't find one of those at the thrift store yet so I have to see if I can find one of those unless I have one but I don't think I do that I don't you know want anymore so yeah that is that and that is all the things that I bought. And then, like I was saying earlier, last week, or that I started to say, last week I had mentioned that I wanted to try getting some crochet done. Sorry, the light's kind of getting a little cloudy out there. Um, so I did start. He looks a little funny right now because he's not, he's not ready. But here's the beginning of a Jawa. I've never used these little safety eyes before, so it was kind of cool to see that. I've bought some before, but I didn't have like a specific plan in mind for them, so I haven't used them yet. But since these are the proper size and everything. So yeah, this is the start of his little outfit. And then he's gonna have, I threw away the box. Um, the book's over there somewhere, but he's got, he's going to have a little fuzzy and then he's a little outfit and all that. So I'm planning on 
getting some more of that done before next week. Uh, he has like a little hood and stuff. Um, I enjoyed making that, but I have wrist problems and unlike cross stitch, which I'm really glad doesn't trigger those issues, the crochet, or maybe I just need to loosen up a little bit on it. Um, it really starts to make my wrist a little tender. So I can only do a little bit at a time. So we'll see how far I get. I don't know. But I do enjoy crocheting, so I'm hoping to get some of that done. Possibly start the BB-8. I don't know. It all depends on how that goes. So yeah, I think that was it for what I've been up to during this past week. Um, oh, one thing I was, <laughs> I was going to say was that the other day I went out to eat and when we went in, they were playing, which I, I don't think I've ever heard in public, they were playing the song from The Labyrinth, um, Dance Magic Dance, that Bowie sings and I was just like this awesome but I <laughs> I've never heard this out I, I didn't know it was something that was uh, released like that out in the or am I being stupid and that's actually like a song that he's done <laughs> and they use it in the movie I don't know I only know it from the movie um, uh, and I like that one so yeah that was fun to hear out in public and then they kept playing different I guess it was on like a soundtrack thing because there was other movies with different cool songs that I liked. So, yeah. Uh, that is all for this week. I hope you guys are doing well and have a great weekend, whether it's getting out and having fun outside or staying in and getting some crafting done. So, um, bye for now. <laughs>